2, 1, top. A successful start to a long and challenging mission. Allumage Vulcan. The unmanned Bepi Colombo blasted off from French Guiana, carrying two smaller spacecraft which will investigate the surface and magnetic field of Mercury. Studying Mercury is crucial to better understand the formation of our solar system, how Earth is formed and evolved and where we are coming from. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system. Its proximity to the sun means temperatures can reach up to 430 degrees Celsius in the day and drop to minus 180 at night. The Bepi Colombo spacecraft will fly round Earth, Venus and Mercury several times in order to slow down before arriving at its destination in December 2025. We fly by nine times a planet in order to lose energy, otherwise the sun will attract us very, very strongly, too fast. Um, so we will use nine times the planet, first the Earth, twice Venus, six times Mercury. Eventually we will get there. It will take 7.2 years, so a long trip. Once the Bepi Colombo reaches Mercury, it will release the two smaller spacecraft. One will operate in Mercury's inner orbit, the other in its outer orbit. They'll gather data on the internal structure of the planet, its surface and geological evolution. The European Space Agency spacecraft is designed to look at the surface of the planet and to study the planet in detail. And the second spacecraft um, is designed to look at the environment. And so having two spacecraft will enable us to do um, a great deal of new science compared to the previous missions. The last spacecraft sent to Mercury ended its four-year orbit in 2015. European and Japanese scientists behind this $1.5 billion mission say they're expecting big surprises that could challenge existing theories about the evolution of the solar system. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.